Here we go. Let me talk to you about what we're doing today. First off, got the Limelight 3X. That's the triple laminate, the new matrix. Catching some specs, but we're gonna stay off the trestle and show so we'll fish some of the other bridges. Right now we're fishing Highway 11. We'll go over why I decided to start right here and what's going on. fishing down here on highway 11 i'm all the way on the south end today and i like to fish this and what we have right now it's a falling tide tide's falling pretty hard so i'm using a half ounce golden eye jig head this is actually the black platinum three eighths if it's mellow half if it's uh rolling good here's the lure of choice right here matrix 3x our triple laminate we're just gonna run a half ounce black platinum through there. Right down the middle, come out about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch to the lure. Got a nice green flake, a gold band down the middle, more of a clearish belly. This thing looks sharp in the water. Look how far off the bridge I am. Look how far. Get them pups. Get them pups. Way off the bridge. Get this fish before my dogs eat them. That tide's moving at a pretty good clip right now. When I come over here and it's falling a little hard, sometimes I catch them way, way off. You know, when I notice my bites are coming closer to the trolling motor than they are to bridge, I'll back the boat up even further, and I'm not so interested in throwing all the way to the bridge as I am getting way off the current break here, you know, as that tide rips around that corner. Again, needing that half ounce today, that's definitely, if I had the three eighths, it'd be really tough to get to the bottom. Now, as if that tide, we're at the end of the fall, as it slows more and more, I can get away with the three eighths. This bridge is a lot more tricky to fish in the trestle Especially when the tide's falling like this, it's just very hard to make contact with the bottom. I typically don't pop it that hard as the current's going to do a lot of your, you know, it's going to move that lure around for you. Nice little dribbles all the way back to the boat. As you can see, look how far I am away. These fish are really here more considering it's a point. A great, great spot to fish when the tide's falling. If it's coming in, I don't really care for this specific spot. I like this on the end of a falling tide. I mean, that, that bite came. That bike came right under the boat. This is a little small. Speaking of small, so we've been going over. He's probably a keeper. We'll let him go. We've been going over the Mega Matrix and how great it is when you're on the bigger fish. This, this class of fish is a little bit smaller. This is more your 12 to 17 inch, where we've been catching a lot of 15 to 22 inch fish. So. A little smaller than that, so I'm dropping it down to the three inch bait, going with the triple laminate and a half ounce jig head. I just like to throw it up towards the bridge. But like I said, when that tide's falling hard, it, real, it moves harder right here than on anywhere else on the three bridges at Lake Pontchartrain. Right down here in the last like 100, 200 yards is where you really get a hard current. So if you're ever fishing like mid lake on the trestle, or anywhere in the lake and you're like, man, there's no tide. It's always moving on the last 100 yards of a Highway 11 or the twin span. And that's because it makes the biggest point 
and Lake Pontchartrain right here. So all that water is coming from New Orleans, wrapping around that point, and shooting out towards the ship. Water clarity this whole fall and winter has been remarkable. Matrix fluoro is a must right now. You don't want to be fishing that three to four foot of visibility like we've been having and not using a fluoro. That's what I got on right now. Our matrix fluoro is a 15 pound fluoro and it works great, especially this is what I use when the water is gin clear. Number one reason I like to fish this area, number one is there's very rarely any boats here. That is my absolute favorite reason to fish here. Everybody gets so glued to the trestle, and I get it, it's definitely the most consistent, but I'd much rather grind out 10 or 20 than be mixed in with a gazillion boats having them all over the place. The second reason I like fishing here is it does hold fish. Sometimes they're really big here too, but today they're just normal old speckled trout, about a 14 inch average, good eating size fish right here. Now as this tide gets slower and slower, this spot can get hotter and hotter. Don't want to come to this area at the peak of a tide. You want to hit this on the change of a tide. Now, if you look at some of our older dockside TDs, when we're fishing those big, big trout, they're going to be up under the bridge in between the pilings. Now, I haven't really found that class of fish this year, but when we're fishing for those, it's a whole different technique. And I typically do that around the mid lake to northern part when I find them big ones. Oh man, there he was again. When I find them big ones under the bridge, I get the boat real tight to the bridge and I throw under it. But whenever they're schooled up down here, they're typically schooled up way off the bridge and they're using this big current that's coming around this point. This is more of like a schooling zone where rather than when I'm fishing in big ones, it's just one fish every like five sets of pilings and they're buried up underneath the bridge. And I hadn't really caught the big monsters on Highway 11 this year. But we'll take these smaller ones down here in the, what we call the corner of the bridge. right there guys nice probably the nicest one in the morning one quick little drift got enough for breakfast got some nice fish showcase the place rather than other than the trestle showcase the 3x limelight matrix shad showed you guys how important it is to have a heavy jig head in certain situations catching beautiful trout like this Hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the Matrix Bait Box and get your hands on some of these items we were using today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out all of our episodes across the entire Gulf Coast. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. We're going to go look for some bigger ones. All right, guys. Using the old 3X and the limelight today. Catching nice trout. Got plenty, shot a dockside TV already this morning. Gonna go ahead and let this one go. Just pop a tag in there. Remember, recapture a fish with a blue tag. Win a prize from metricshed.com. Let's put this tag in there. Right there, nice trout.
There he goes. Recapture that fish with a prize from matrixshed.com.